In the previous section of the course, we created charts and graphics. In this section, we are going to learn about printing. In this first segment, we are going to add headers and footers to printed pages. For this exercise, we are going to use the revenue by customer underscore start workbook. I have already opened that workbook and saved it under the name of revenue by customer. To begin, on the Insert tab, in the Text group, click Header and Footer. Excel displays your workbook in Page Layout View. In the middle header section, where the cursor is flashing right now, type Q1 space 2010 and then press Enter. On the Design Contextual tab, in the Header and Footer Elements group, click File Name. Excel inserts the ampersand file code, which will display the file's name. Now to the right of the ampersand file code, type a comma, and then press the spacebar. Now on the Design Contextual tab, in the Header and Footer Elements group, click Current Date. Excel adds the ampersand date code, which will display the current date. Now press Tab. Excel highlights the right header section. The workbook name and current date appear in the middle header section. Now on the Design Contextual tab, in the Navigation group, click Go to Footer. Excel highlights the right footer section. With your mouse, click the middle footer section, and then on the Design Contextual tab, in the Header and Footer Elements group, click Picture. Navigate to the folder where you have saved your practice files, and then double-click the Consolidated Messenger graphic. The code ampersand picture appears in the middle footer section. Now click any workbook cell above the footer. Excel displays the worksheet as it will be printed. Now click the image in the footer, and then on the Design Contextual tab, click Format Picture. The Format Picture dialog box opens. Click the Size tab if the size page of the dialog box is not already displayed, and then in the Scale area of the dialog box, in the Height field, type 80%. and then press Enter. The Format Picture dialog box closes. Now click any worksheet cell above the footer, and Excel displays the newly formatted picture. In this segment, we added headers and footers to printed pages. In the next segment, we are going to prepare worksheets for printing. In the previous segment, we added headers and footers to printed pages. In this segment, we are going to prepare worksheets for printing. For this exercise, we will use the pickups by hour underscore start workbook. I have already opened the workbook and saved it under the new name of pickups by hour. While displaying the Jan Feb worksheet, click the file tab and then click print. The workbook appears in Backstage View with a print preview. While in the Backstage View, click the Orientation button and then click Landscape Orientation. Excel reorients the worksheet. Now click the Scaling button and then click Custom Scaling Options. The Page Setup dialog box appears, displaying the Page tab. In the Adjust To field, 
type 80 to indicate 80% 80 of normal size, and then press Enter. Excel resizes your worksheet. Now on the ribbon, click the Page Layout tab. Now click the row header for row 38. I'm scrolling down using my mouse's scroll wheel button. When you click the row header, Excel highlights row 38. Now on the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, click Breaks and then click Insert Page Break. Excel sets a horizontal page break above row 38. Now on the tab bar, click the MARJUN Sheet tab. This displays the MARJUN Sheet. And then on the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, click Margins and then click Wide. Excel applies the preset wide margins to the worksheet. Now again, on the Page Layout tab, click the Page Setup dialog box launcher. That is this little button in the bottom right-hand corner of the group. If necessary, click the Sheet tab, and then in the Page Order area, click Over, then Down. Click OK, and then if desired, click the File tab, click Print, and then click the Print button to print your worksheet. In this segment, we prepared worksheets for printing. In the next segment, we are going to print worksheets. In the previous segment, we prepared worksheets for printing. In this segment, we are going to print worksheets. For this exercise, we are going to use the Summary by a Customer workbook. For this exercise, we are going to use the Summary by Customer underscore start workbook. I have already opened the workbook and saved it under the name of Summary by Customer. If necessary, display the summary worksheet by clicking the summary sheet tab. Then on the page layout tab of the ribbon, click the page setup dialog box launcher. That is this small button at the bottom right hand corner of the page setup group. When we do, the page setup dialog box opens. Now if necessary, click the sheet tab to display the sheet page of the dialog box. Now, in the Cell Errors As list, click blank, and click OK. Now hold down the Control key, and then on the tab bar, click the Northwind Sheet tab. Excel selects the Summary and Northwind worksheets. Now click the File tab and then click Print. The print page of the Backstage view appears. Now in the Settings area, verify that the Print Active Sheets option is selected. Then click any ribbon tab to cancel printing, or click the Print button if you want to print the worksheets. In this segment, we print worksheets. In the next segment, we are going to print parts of worksheets. In the previous segment, we printed worksheets. In this segment, we are going to print parts of worksheets. For this exercise, we are going to use the hourly pickups underscore start workbook. I have already opened that workbook and saved it under the new name of hourly pickups. To begin, on the page layout tab of the ribbon, in the page setup group, click print titles. This displays the Sheet tab of the Page Setup dialog box. At the right edge of the Columns to Repeat at Left field, click the Collapse dialog box button. The dialog box collapses. Select the column header of Column A 
and drag to select the column header of column B. The reference dollar sign A colon dollar sign B appears in the page setup dialog box. At the right edge of the columns to repeat at left field, click the expand dialog button. This restores the dialog box to its original size. Now click print preview. Excel displays your worksheet in the backstage view, which includes a preview of how your worksheet will appear when printed. Under Pages in the Settings area, in the From field, type 1, and then in the To field, type 2. On the ribbon, click the Page Layout tab, and then in the Scale to Fit group, click the Width arrow, and then in the list that appears, click One Page. Click the Height arrow in the same group, and then click Two Pages. Excel resizes your workbook so that it will fit on two printed pages. The new scaling and size values appear in the Scale to Fit group on the Page Layout tab. Now select the cell range A1 through E8, Then hold down the control key and select the cell range A38 to E45. I'm going to drag the slider down to display that area of the worksheet and then select from cell A38 to E45. Now on the page layout tab in the page setup group click print area and then click Set Print Area. Now click the Page Setup dialog box launcher, which is here in the bottom right corner of the Page Setup group on the ribbon. On the Margins page of the dialog box, in the Center on Page area, select the Horizontally and Vertically checkboxes. Now click Print Preview. Excel displays your worksheet in the Backstage area. Now on the ribbon, click the Page Layout tab, which displays your worksheet in Normal View. And then in the Page Setup group, click Print Area, and then click Clear Print Area. Excel removes the print area defined for the JanFeb worksheet. In this segment, we printed parts of worksheets. In the next segment, we are going to print charts. In the previous segment, we printed parts of worksheets. In this segment, we are going to print a chart. This is the last segment of Section 11, Printing. In this exercise, we are going to use the Corporate Revenue underscore Start Workbook. I have already opened that workbook and saved it under the new name of Corporate Revenue. To print a chart, first you select the chart and then click the File tab and click Print. When you do, Excel displays your chart in Backstage View. Verify that the Print Selected Chart option appears in the Settings field, and then click the Print button, or click any tab on the ribbon to exit the Backstage View if you don't want to print the chart. In this segment, we printed a chart. This is the last segment of Section 11, Printing. In the next section of the course, we are going to automate repetitive tasks by using macros.